Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to March's layout chair. I have 36 layouts here on my desk because of course as most of you know um, I did the full 30 days with uh, the 30 days of sketches series Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life 30 days of sketches that was just so 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 much fun I did do a few additional projects you know I do stretch the sketch um, I also participate in the Scrap 5 Challenge. We had a few lovely hops to celebrate some of our friends reaching milestones. So all in all, that is 36 layouts. Now, <laughs> this is not the Fun Friday Finds. That will come later. But I found these as I was getting <laughs> these layouts ready to show you. So we'll have to see where that goes they obviously go on a project this one i'm pretty sure is from baby diego's this one i'm not so sure anyway i will try and not keep you here too too long as every single layout and project here does have a video but i know that a lot of you have commented um and enjoy seeing sort of a month in review and seeing all the projects in one place so here is hang on let me do this properly so this was a me myself and i but it was also uh, a 30 days of sketches that i adapt whoops it goes this way that i adapted as well and as you know i love this format about cozy mysteries my favorite genre as opposed to my favorite book which was the prompt. This was for Stretch the Sketch, and it was a lovely, lovely sketch by MK, my friend MK. Um, and again, I what I actually did here is I shrunk the sketch to create this six by eight layout and then stretched it to turn it into a double page. There we go. This one I really, really, really love because this sketch was going to give me a lot of trouble. And I got this gorgeous Pink Fresh Studios paper used up, which I did not really know how I was going to do. And I'm quite, quite, quite proud of this one. Now, this was, um, this was one of our lovely celebratory hops, and it was to celebrate... My lovely friend Rebecca and her reaching 500 subbies here on YouTube. Um, so if you missed that hop, go back to this video. I think was it on the, I think it was on the 5th. Was it on the 5th of March? I'm pretty sure it was on the 5th of March on a Thursday. And you can follow everybody and you will see Rebecca's layout and this is just gorgeous. She's now well, well, well on her way and probably will be doing her thousand subby very, very soon. A 30 days of sketches. I just did a little bit of inking on my white cardstock. This is another one that I really, really love and this I did some fun stenciling with inks on the background. 30 days of sketches, of course this one as well this was actually day two this one i do remember what day it was it was day two i got a little bit of stitching and i sort of love this little film reel kind of thing and that would be baby me so there you go 30 days of and this is day one i also remember that this one is day one by the way the rest of these are not in any order and i probably won't remember many of the days that they were scheduled for but if I do I will let you know that pink fresh one by the way that was day 10 I think might have been it's my little pookie and this is from day one this was using the avenue collection this one was um a 30 days of sketches but it was also the scrap five challenge so it was the second Saturday in um march some mixed media and i had chosen the five items 
Now, this one, in all honesty, I did way before March, and it's a scrap lift of the lovely, lovely Janet, my friend Janet Fritz from Galaxy Girl Creations. Uh, it was a telephone game hop, so I had done this one uh, probably quite, quite early in February, but it was up on my channel on the 16th of March was my day. This was another fun, fun, fun sketch, and I used a cut file here on the back that I missed it, did a little bit of mixed media, the lovely photo play Winter Memories. This will go into my December generic album, and this was another fun one. This uh, 30 Days of Sketches, of course, and I think this was maybe day nine. Oh, I'm doing better than I thought. This is my nephew, this nephew as a little one, and this is him as a dad at the same um, motel in Atlantic City. Was it Atlantic City or Wildwood? One of the two. Anyway, awesome. I'm enjoying that. There we go. Ah, there we go. And there is my little spooky. This was a 30 Days of Sketches. Uh, of course, and it was a sketch that we had also done as a sketch Sunday um, in February, I think, because it was a follow. We were doing Sandy's series, Follow a Sketch February, and I booked, so I think we did that one, and it came back in the 30 Days of Sketches, so I did them differently, and in that video, I believe it's on the 19th, I, at the end of that video, showed you the layout that I had done for Sketch Sunday lovely little baby Diego update. This was for uh, 30 Days of Sketches, of course, but on a day that we were collaborating with the lovely, lovely Shannon. She's crafty and the lovely Kathy from Scrappy Kathy and their Thursday Challenge Accepted series. Pookie again. This uh, was for 30 Days of Sketches and... Hmm, I think this might have been a Wednesday Sketches Reimagined that we did with Sarah, I believe it was. So it would be a Laura Whitaker sketch. This is a, this is a fun, fun, fun and busy one using all sorts of scraps from the Avenue collection. It was a 30 Days of Sketches, of course. This one too, using this one is busy and using all sorts of bits and pieces of scraps and mixed media on the background and the journaling all around. That is my mom, a photo at the eye clinic. We do that once a month, 30 days of sketches. And this uh, was a Nicole Jones 911 design team uh, project as well. Loved it, love, love, love using these layered journaling uh, labels. I really, really, really do. An honor, as it is. This uh, is a 30 Days of Sketches, and this is a fun one as well. This was really about how um, throughout this entire year of pandemic, and it's still going on in my area anyway, how the online community came through and uh, some um, events were already regular events, but then some awesome, awesome events that took the place of uh, in-person ones, and how as a community we really got together and scrapped up a storm. So, there we go. This is another 30 Days of Sketches with the Depoli and San Giuseppe Day, which is on the 19th of March every year, and I think this was for the Monday before I did some mixed media using one of the things I've been really enjoying is using, of course, the Vicki Booten pre-made mixed media pages, but then adding a little bit of my own to it, which is what I did in this case with additional splatters um, and some stenciling and some stamping. So that is fun. Another pre-made Vicky Booten pre-made mixed media page. I added these circles. And on in this video, 
I actually at the end give you a little sort of real-time tutorial on how I did this. It's very, very easy, just using some mists and the nozzle itself. And this was a sketch chosen by Daisy from Daisy Scraps. And this one had been chosen by my lovely friend Amber, Dragonfly D, over on Instagram. And this is Daisy Scraps, of course, here on YouTube. 30 days of sketches and a uh, sketches reimagined with uh, the lovely Sarah. So it's a Laura Whitaker. And the part that I reimagined a little bit is the stenciling here on the background because the sketch sort of looked as though it had a bit of a, a grid type background. And I used a little bit of stenciling and my Tim Holtz burlap um, stencil. Christmas in March and 30 days of sketches, obviously then day 25. This one, this was a rough one and it gave me trouble, but in the end I love it and I love that I got to use some dyes that I've had for a while and had not used. This one also gave me a little bit of trouble, but I got a fun, fun, fun little shaker element on here. This was day 26 and it was a sketch chosen by the lovely Katie Scott. Uh, from my Scrappy Sisters. No, Scrappy Sisters. No, not my. <laughs> scrappy Sisters. For the lovely Kathy Feigl's 1000 Subby um, Celebration Hop. Lots of fun, Nicole Jones 911. And then um, on a layup that you're going to see coming up, I used this technique again, and I actually did some of this in real-time process for one of the DT assignments. 30 days of sketches, and uh, I think this was also maybe a sketch Sunday. This was a scrap lift of the lovely MK, and just uh, two days ago, yesterday, two days ago, on the 31st, we actually had a hop for the lovely uh, MK, and there was lots, lots, lots going on that day, so you may have missed it, so just pop on back to the 31st and make sure you start with MK's channel and follow everybody along if you haven't. Um, and this is the layout that I scrapped. And it's fun because I scrap lifted a layout that she had done for the 30 days of sketches. And, but I didn't go back and look at the sketch nor what I had done on that day so as not to influence myself. I love this and I'm wondering whether that heart is supposed to be on here somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where it belongs. This was 30 Days of Sketches Day 30, and it was a really fun sketch chosen by my dear friend Kristen from Kristen Crafts. And uh, I had fun with this one. I did lots and lots of fussy cutting um, and pretty much used up the rest of my storyteller paper. This was a fun, this was an original and exclusive sketch for 30 days of sketches done by the lovely Sarah Scraps. And I love it sort of, I could do a little bit of my one third, two third kind of thing. For some reason, I missed a little bit of the mixed media, which, you know, should have been here. And I should have noticed that. I mean, it's Sarah and she does such beautiful mixed media. I love, love, love her sketches actually. 30 days of sketches. This one I ignored for a little bit, but then just had fun. And I used this, uh, was my how to kill a kit with style and may have also been a build a page layout. I'm not so sure. I know this is definitely a build a page layout. Um, that is a series I do with Kristen the third week of every month. And this month, um, our lovely friend Christy will be joining us. So the third week of the month on the Sunday and Monday, we build some page kits. And then Tuesday through Saturday, we scrap using those kits. And this was definitely one of those. 30 Days of Sketches and How to Kill a Kit with Style based on Rosie's Studio Splendid. This was, this was off the board. This was off the board for this month. So just uh, on the 31st as well. 
and we decided to keep it in the sketches since we had been doing sketches and we joined um sandy state goddess here on youtube and her 100 days of sketches so we used her sketch for the day and i used coco vanilla which is one of the collections that one of the five collections that i'm trying to get done um before i shop um uh, might have cheated on that might have to tell you that story <laughs> in the fun friday finds but <laughs> there we go um 30 days of sketches and I did a little bit of fun and this um hmm I don't remember but I know there was some lovely lovely mixed media on this I think this was one of the last ones for sure this was for a challenge that I did over the weekend with some tickets and mixed media here we go a Nicole Jones 911 DT assignment and a 30 days of sketches. The sketches, they were all circular elements. It was a lovely sketch chosen by Jennifer Kane. And I used the lovely printable hearts, the two inch hearts. And I did some outlining and stamping and inking uh, on these. And I do actually do a partial real time process for this one where I do some of these hearts live for you if you want to go back and see that. And a Nicole Jones 911 as well. And this was also for uh, inspired by online scrapbooking. And I had done, I had gone into an, um, a Scrapathon 6, I think, Nicole's, which was a habit. I think it was habit. Yeah. And it was how, so I chose to do a diagonal layout. Mm, uh oh, I think this might have been February. So here I'm going on and on. This might have been February. I don't know if this was in February because it's definitely no, it's not. Um, also a Nicole Jones nine one one, um, DT assignment, the lovely, lovely storyteller collection, and a Scrapathon six multi photo. And this was another inspired by online scrapbooking class on a Saturday, as was this one. And this uh, is also a Build-A-Page. This is definitely a Build-A-Page layout. And it was uh, using a sketch, an exclusive sketch in Sarah Scrap's YouTube membership on her YouTube membership platform. So there you go, my friends. My, and I still don't know where he belongs. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll have to go back and find. I, I mean, it has to have come off a layout somewhere. So I'll go back and have a look. So thank you so much for having spent so much of your time with me in March. Um, April will be a little bit lighter, a little bit maybe more varied. There's an album uh, share coming up. Um, that kind of thing, as well as my regular collaborations. We have a couple of fun uh, celebratory YouTube hops as well. Kelsey, uh, Kelsey Mae Webster, that's coming up next week. Um, so we have a few of those coming up. And uh, I will see you again here very, very soon. Tell me, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite either of a story or a technique? or a sketch, or a layout per se. Let me know down in the comments below if you did have a favorite. Let me know if you played along in the 30 days of sketches, and if you enjoyed it, and um, if you did every day, a few days, um, and if you're going to be joining us again in June. And don't forget in May, we're gonna be having a fun scrap lift every day. Isn't all of this fun, fun, fun stuff? Say safe, my friend. Say, say, stay. Oh my goodness me, I can speak. Stay safe, my friends, and I will see you back here very, very soon. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.